Hello and welcome to Cool Things in Nature. I'm Coolia, as always, and I'm here in Lando Lakes, Wisconsin, continuing my series of tree identification in the wintertime. And here I have my camera super zoomed on the bark of a very special tree and a very easy tree to identify in the wintertime. This, if you can look at the bark, it looks kind of like paper peeling off of the tree. That is the paper birch tree, Betula papyrifera. And I was looking here in this book. It's a Michigan trees book, so it'll help you identify trees if you're in kind of the Michigan area. I'm in Wisconsin, but I'm very close to the Upper Peninsula. So in this book, it talks about the bark and how this bark is very very easily started on fire. So you may have used it if you're starting a fire in the woods, um, if you're going camping or something, you may have used some paper birch bark to start your fire. And uh, it works great. I recommend getting it off of the ground because you don't want to rip it off the tree. That would be, that'd be mean to the tree. That'd be like someone coming up to you and pulling hairs off your head or something. So try to find some bark on the ground and then you can start your fire. The reason that the bark is so flammable is because the paper birch actually needs fire in order for its seeds to germinate. So that's an adaptation of this tree. If it doesn't get a routine fire, the seeds of this tree will not germinate and there will not be more beautiful, beautiful paper birches. So sometimes fires are good in the wilderness. Um, another cool thing that I read about in this here book is that the Native Americans used to use the bark for canoes and wigwam coverings. So they used to cover those. Uh, you may have heard of a birch bark canoe. And that's all of this. You could also weave baskets with it. There's a lot of cool crafts you can do with the paper birch tree. So if you were to come across a twig the twigs on this tree are way up there, so I can't see them. But this book will tell you exactly what they're going to look like. And you can identify it. This here. That's a Samara. That's the seed that needs the fire to germinate. And then there's a lot of other um, parts of this plant that this book talks about. So there we are. The paper birch. Very cool thing in nature. And your first tree identification tree in winter. Have a good day.